video this, but it's really good. <laughs> I've actually started this um, vlog it's been quite a long day already and it's quarter past five in the afternoon but it feels like eight o'clock um, so we are in Iceland we're in uh, Reykjavik we got here about when did we get here about 10 a.m. we were slightly late taking off um, at the airport um, but we had our transfer waiting for us and then we got into Reykjavik probably about quarter to 12 I think it was or half 11 quarter to 12 once you know we'd got our baggage and everything like that um, our hotel that we're staying at is the Foss Hotel Reykjavik um, near bus stop 12 um, if you've been here before. Um, it looks really pretty so far. We had a little bit of explore earlier when we left our bags at the hotel. Um, so I'll try and insert, insert, see I can't talk, I'm so tired, <laughs> insert a bit of that footage here. <laughs> Far, it feels so calm. There's like, yeah, but to be fair, they said what 200,000 live in Iceland in total. So chilled so far. Not sure if you'll hear me, but one of the first observations we've made we've not seen a McDonald's yet. I'm sure there is one, but we've not seen a McDonald's come into. Um, I've gone for standard chips, you've gone for They look really good. The sweet potato fries. Yeah. I'm a both had Oreo milkshakes. Yum. Very windy. really exciting few days planned we've got blue lagoon tomorrow we've got a golden circle tour with um ski uh, snowmobiling hopefully fingers crossed weathers we've got a northern lights tour booked although i'm looking outside now and tonight is tonight is very cloudy that like, there's clouds everywhere there's not even a break in the clouds so um you know we'll just see we'll just see tomorrow but it's so exciting to get traveling again um the process was really easy for us there was no tests or anything involved um, as we're vaccinated but also they they changed the rules so I don't think there's tests for for anyone coming into Iceland so um, obviously always check the website to to keep up to date but uh, yeah it's been really straightforward it felt the most normal travel that we've done since you know the start of the pandemic but there wasn't low there wasn't really many people in mass at all I wore mine on the plane just because I felt a bit more comfortable um, but you don't have to so yeah anyway enough about that uh, we're so excited to be here and we're just going to go out for some food tonight and then we're going to have an early night I think because we're really tired and then tomorrow night it's hard rock which we're really excited about we've booked a table because you could do that online before you came and yeah I think I've rambled on enough um, and yeah come along and see what we get up to in Iceland. We are dressed and showered and feel more awake than we did a couple of hours ago and we're going to go and get some tweet now I think we're thinking fish and chips to you yeah I think fish and chips because we've got hard rock tomorrow so it feels so much later it's only half five at the moment but the wind stopped so I thought it's a good time to pick the camera up because it's they're saying it's breezy it does feel a bit windy but I guess compared to their storms it is just a light breeze <laughs> this rainbow path up to the cathedral <laughs> Oh, here we go. So we've got fish and chips. It's cod. Yum. And then I ordered the wrong sauce for you, but it's a lemon dill. Oh, it smells lovely and fresh. Let's go. Look at all. Um, if I was on about rye bread, dime bar. They've got vegan options, so I like the back, but I'm going to go chocolate, obviously. Oh, there you go. What flavour did you get? Oh, we're in Kinder, isn't it? We're in Kinder, and we got it from this place here. And I went for chocolate. <laughs> what do I look like? I've got my hair in a bun because we're going to Blue Lagoon. Oh my gosh, I look awful. <laughs> and I'm just covered because it's quite windy and cold. Well, it's not windy, it's just cold. It is windy, but not like really windy. Um, but we're just waiting for the bus to go to the Blue Lagoon, so I just look awful. I look so tired. Oh, it's windy. I'm excited. 
Gatorade and a water because we needed them, so I think it was about 5,000, it was including my toast for those in the And then I got a ham and cheese toastie, I hope this is the nicest ham and cheese toastie I've ever had. <laughs> then here's the reality, we've got snacks from home for after. <laughs> you can't smell it as much when you're inside, but yeah, a bit eggy, a bit eggy. Just outside in the wind, the restaurants this side. Right, we're gonna head back up here to the coach. I don't think it's very busy today. I mean, obviously I came in the summer last time and it was 2014, but it was so much busier. Back from the Blue Lagoon, got changed, took some makeup on, curled my hair, um, and we're now gonna head um, into town and then go to the Hard Rock for our dinner. We have made a reservation, we made it before we came. Um, I guess we'll see how busy it is and if we needed to do that. Um, we're meant to be going on a Northern Lights tour tonight uh, with a company that we booked with. Um, however, it looks quite cloudy, so I think they email or text around six o'clock tonight just to confirm what time they pick us up and everything. So I guess we'll see um, if that goes ahead or not. Um, and then we'll well, I was going to say we'll have an early night. If we go on the Northern Lights tour, we won't have an early night. Um, and then we've got a really busy day tomorrow as we're doing the Golden Circle tour with the uh, snowmobiling on the glacier, fingers crossed. So we're really excited for that. We really enjoyed the Blue Lagoon today. It was nice and relaxing. We were there for about three hours or so. Um, the transfer worked really well. I'll try and link anything down below to any tours or anything that we've done. Um, transfer worked well. There was a... Um, a short queue we booked the premium package so that included a robe at the blue lagoon which was great to just chuck on and off um three mud masks or different masks that there were as well so we had three of those um, and we also got a free drink as well so i opted for the slush puppy and then um yeah you opted for a beer a local beer which was good um and yeah and then we headed back and like i said just had a chill got changed and now we're off out for dinner so it's actually not that cold it's just that the wind makes it cold so just make sure if you are coming in the winter months uh, to wrap up with different layers so uh yeah excited for the hard rock we can't wait just in timber. Just in timber. So cocktail wise, I went for a. Do you not like it? You don't like the um the the min. So I went for a strawberry mojito, and you went for what is it? The hurricane. Hur 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 That's quite nice actually. That's quite orangey. But yeah. We got the triple, not triple, the big cheeseburger plain, and you got the local legendary burger. Yum. No. This is a sharing dessert. I'd like to clarify. He is finishing it off for me. Oh my god! Brownie ice cream with cream. Yum. I think we did very, very well. We're not going to eat tomorrow now. I think. Well, we will. But I'm so full right now. So we've been given the go ahead. The blue, not the blue lagoon. I'm so full of cod. The Northern Lights tour is the show. <laughs> The Northern Lights tour is going ahead tonight. There is some break in the clouds, but we'll see if we see them. So, sun's trying to come out. <laughs> Future 
me here. So I just wanted to show you some photos from uh, my camera, which I took um, of the Northern Lights or attempted to take of the Northern Lights. I'd researched best Northern Lights tour companies um, and this tour company kept coming up. It was called Iceland Everywhere Tours and it was a minibus of I want to say 12, 13, maybe 16 people. Um, quite a small tour and basically they pick you up uh, and drop you back and they follow the lights. Wherever the lights go, they try and get the best chance of seeing them. We actually travelled about an hour and a half out of Reykjavik to see the lights. Um, as you can see from the photos, it was quite cloudy. Visibility wasn't that clear, but the lights were showing uh, quite faintly behind the clouds at, at the first place we stopped. We literally stopped in the middle of nowhere. It was pitch black darkness, absolutely freezing. So make sure you bring layers like we did. Um, and we stayed there for a little bit and uh, the tour guide helped me change some camera settings. Uh, and this is what it was coming up with originally. Um, and then after that, we moved to another location, again, in the middle of nowhere, um, pitch black. And this was gone 12 o'clock. Um, it's called the Midnight Adventure. Um, but I thought we would be back at the hotel for 1am but because the lights are unpredictable they wanted to give us the best chance of seeing them so that's why we moved to another location um, where they actually turned out to be a little bit brighter. At the second stop um, obviously it was very early in the morning we we're all quite tired they gave us free hot chocolate so we could have that as we were looking um, up at the lights and it actually is not as strong as what you see in photos so um obviously it depends how strong the lights are that night but we could see kind of a greeny slight green glow in the distance and also an orangey tint as well which they say happens um and then what happened was we stayed on the bus for a uh, all got back on the bus for 10 minutes and he said I'm just going to wait half an hour longer to see if they come out any brighter have a quick nap I'll wake you up if they come out and then 10 minutes later he said everyone up off the bus they're out stronger and they took photos of us with their cameras um, so that we had clearer photos because obviously they're used to taking the photos of the northern lights so we've got some great photos of me and my partner um, in the northern lights which is great but I thought it'd be useful for you to see what actually I could get on my camera. So my camera is a Canon G7X. We're back. It's 3am. But we saw the Northern Lights. Look at that. on camera this morning we didn't get in till 3am at the hotel and our tour um was starting before we're getting picked up at half eight this morning so we're quite tired but we're ready to go we had a great time last night and we got to see the northern lights which is really great and today we're on our golden circle super jeep snowmobile experience so yeah we're just at the first stop so we'll have a look it's a big lake i can't remember the name but i'll show you now Isn't it? it is, isn't it? He said it's the biggest lake in Iceland. What else is it? Oh, yeah, look. Right is it a church? Yeah. So peaceful, isn't it? I mean, not with everyone chatting beyond, but it's peaceful. It's somewhere you can get um, coffees and snacks and stuff, and then the loos are over there. And there, that is the view at the bathroom. How much mud we were stood in last night, watching the Northern Lights. I thought I was going to sink in. I don't think we can go too far. So this is what we're getting around with on our tour today. It's so cool. There's only eight of us on it. Game of Thrones was shot over there. More people there. <laughs> so that went around like seven kilometers until we reached the, uh, the Eurasian part. So we've just come for a quick toilet stop before we go on the snowmobiling. Very excited. I don't know how much I'll be able to film if I'll be able to film at all, but I'll get some photos anyway. 
I look very tired today. But yeah, really excited to get going and go on these snowmobiles. People from Asia, all the Christmas. Yeah. And then I went to Sweden in January and I, I didn't go out for like 10 days, 15 days. Oh, it's really, it really, um... You ready? Just pulled a hint of snow. Let's go. <laughs> We've just done 20 25 minutes on the snowmobile. Let's get it. <laughs> it's so good. Look at the view we've got now. Woo, it's the driver. Do you enjoy that? Yeah, it's good. Good view over there. Come on. He's managed to get on FaceTime up yeah. on the glacier. I'm on the glacier. <laughs> That was incredible. I mean, I was absolutely terrified at times when you go over the bumps in the wind, but uh, yeah, it was great. And I think I'm gonna just stay being a passenger. Um, yeah, it was so much fun. Look at this. And it's not a big group either. There's only like 10 of us, I think. It's been great so far. Absolutely loving it. Just can't believe we're on a glacier right now. I've just snowmobiled on the glacier. Incredible. Uh, I have no idea. We've gone for chocolate cake and we chose to sit outside in winter just because that's the view, so why not? Oh, yeah, look at this bad yeah, boy. Yeah, where are we off to now? The waterfall, yeah, the waterfall's the right. Okay, so I think okay, let's go down. We'll be at the base fit. Yeah, there's the walk down. Hello. Holy moly! Oh, I remember this. I think we parked down there when we came in 2014. We definitely didn't come to that cafe for that chocolate cake. <laughs> there it is. Let's go down to it. Feel the waterfall. My camera's a bit wet on the screen. Oh. We are. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at all the ice and snow. I feel the water. <laughs> Just look at all the snow. Is it right? No, it's not raining. It's from the waterfall, isn't it? So beautiful. I'm getting sprayed with water from the waterfall. Oh, and he's off. He's off. <laughs> Oh, we're walking around to the viewing deck now. Yeah. 
snow on the ground so. bit of a different angle from here we've just walked from down there up the stairs and around this path here it's not taking long at all and it's really quiet as well oh that looks incredible with the snow doesn't it look at that just great isn't it great we're here geysers geysers we're gonna see them there we go this is our last stop on the tour today it's been fantastic we've really really enjoyed it we thought you know when you pay for the tours and that some of them can be quite expensive um, and i mean this one wasn't cheap um but we really think it's been worth the money it's basically been like private tours for the day really it's been with just you know seven other strangers but it's been really good and uh yeah last stop here here we are head into the one that pops up every four to eight minutes we just saw it as we pulled in pop up so erupt is erupt a better word than pop up yeah <laughs> oh i'm very tired i'm going on four hours sleep if that there we go waiting game now it's very intense around here everyone's waiting everyone's got their camera ready the life out of me. I'm going to try and get a photo with it. See it bubbling? Thank you. I know, that would be, that would scold you. Wouldn't it? Just a really tiny one that one, wasn't it? There's a little pop, pop and gone. So I went for the carbonara and you went for the seafood soft very nice. We're at the airport to go home. Oh my, we're at the airport just waiting for the gate to be announced to go home. Sad times. The airport's quite nice and security we got through really quickly to be fair. So five minutes literally we didn't have to queue straight through. Just got a drink and bath and bottle up. And now we're waiting for the flight. So yeah.